For those of you out there wondering, like I've got a great idea. I don't know if I can tell a good story. Let me tell you one thing I've learned. Originality is always great. I appreciate original thought, original stories. But you can tell a great story, an amazing story, with no actual originality at all. And because sometimes it's just about a matter of style. It's not about the story itself, but how you tell it. So I'm going to tell you a story that is completely made up. None of this has ever happened. And it's entirely based on other people's stories. I'm going to tell you the story of an epic weekend I had once. And I want to see if you, any of you can recognize the source material. Because normally it starts with, like, I come back to work or to school or whatever, and I go up to someone and I'm like, Bro, you won't believe the weekend I just had. Shit got so crazy, man. Look, I was at the club one night, and that's when I saw some hype. Now, she looked kind of throw to me, but she was all up in my grill, so I showed her my big daddy still. I'm just a dog. Don't blame me. Now, now the next day, man, you know what? A boyfriend come up to me. Big dude, man. I ain't even playing, but look. I mean, apparently she, she bragging on my dick. Because, you know, she want to make him jealous. That's the only reason she wanted it. And so she get him all riled up. He going to come try and take it out on me that his girl's creeping. But, and so, you know what? I'm outside of the club and you think I'm a punk? Nah, I go get my loaded tech nine that's off in the trunk. And I told that motherfucker, I ain't never scared, man. Long story short, I, hold, I handle my business. I handle my business. But, yo, man, like it just it keeps getting freaky, okay? Because next thing you know, man, I'm up in the club with my homies trying to get a little V. Keep it down on the low key. You know how it feels. But I seen Shorty. She was checking up on me. And from the game she was spitting in my ear, you would think that she know me, man. So I decided to chill. Okay? But the conversation, it got heavy. She had me feeling like she ready to blow. Okay? And she's saying, come get me. So I got up and I followed her to the floor. She said, baby, let's go. You know what I mean? <laughs> she said, baby, let's go. And Shorty got down low, she said, come and get me. And I got so caught up, I forgot that she told me that she and my girl, they used to be the best of homies. And, I mean, next thing I know, she all up on me, man. I mean, she, she all up in my head now. Got me thinking that it might be good to take her with me. I mean, she ready to leave, okay? And, and I got to keep it real, y'all. From a 1 to 10, she is certified 20. And that just ain't me, Okay. But listen, I, I don't know if I take that chance, just where's it going to lead. But what I do know is the way she dance makes Shorty all right with me. I mean, the way she get low, I'm like, yeah, yeah. I mean, just twerk, work that out for me, girl. Work it. I mean, she asked for one more dance, and I say, yeah. How the hell am I supposed to leave? <sighs> I mean, dude, it, it, the whole weekend, man. Just too much shit going on. I ain't, I, ain't, I ain't about that life. I ain't clubbing no more. I, I can't handle all this. Too much stress, man. These women, I can't handle them. Scandalous hoes.